Sagittarius, this is Saul. And Sagittarius, we're going to look at some energies for you in the month of November regarding love and relationships. So, um, messages, of course, will be for Sagittarius suns, moons, risings, venuses, singles, couples, same-sex loving energies. All right, Sagittarius, I hope all is well. So, you know, I'm using the Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot deck uh, to deliver your messages. None of these cards should be in a, a reverse position. Also, I'm going to be throwing some... I just received this deck here, uh, Lips Don't Lie, and it'd be messages, just this Scorpio, and it was kind of interesting, I, I sort of like the message, lengthy messages, but it's, you know, either your person, you know, what your person's thoughts, intentions, and feelings towards you may be, uh, but I also, too, like to leave it open, because it may be your thoughts, intentions, and feelings towards them as well, okay, so it's sort of like open-ended, but you can use these messages however you want, and then we brought back the soul, soul's love oracle. I'll be tossing some cards. I just happened to find this deck. I put it up and didn't remember where I put it at. And so we're going to be tossing that just to complement everything that we're doing here for you in the month of uh, November. Happy birthday to you guys who are celebrating in November. I uh, hope it is a very nice and uh, safe celebration for you. Um, yeah, but also to be um, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I need to... I forgot to say that for uh, Scorpio, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Happy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> all right. So, energies for Sagittarius. What's going on here? Yeah. All right. So, three good cuts, Sagittarius, and we're going to be getting your story. So, your energy will be rolling around, too. Birthday where the sun marks the period of the time of your birth. So it should be some good energy for some of you. So let's just keep our fingers crossed here. And let me cut that one more time. Some of y'all be dissing my videos, though. <laughs> I'll be taking notice. I'm like, really, Sagittarius? <laughs> anyway, let's begin your story. Seven of Swords, somebody from your past returns. An X, okay. Not reading reversals. Four of Cups, socializing, getting out there. That's birthday celebrations as well. Um, being introduced or meeting new people. Uh, Queen of Pentacles here. It could be uh, someone that you meet that's um, suitable, very well to do for themselves, you know, in their chosen career, line of work. Um, higher font just showed up for a Scorpio. So this is spiritual awareness. Connect that energy to your uh, relationship. So this is a marriage card as well. So somebody could be getting married in November. My nephew is getting married, or, yeah, I guess married. He was scheduled to marry last year, and then he had his accident, so it was postponed. Um, but he's getting married um, same time around this year. But he's not Sagittarius. He's a Taurus. But this is Taurus, though. Higher font represents Taurus. So spiritual epiphanies, spiritual well awareness, development spiritually um, being guided, okay? If I didn't say protection, protection as well. Hierophant is there. Then we got the Knight of Wands, Knight in Shining Armor. Okay, that's an intermediate attraction. Now we have the other marriage card, the Happiness card. This is representing your energy here. Okay, somebody could be moving in with one another. Someone could be actually, someone could be moving in with one another. Somebody could be also moving out um, with a relationship because it's based under the Seven of Swords here that creates a challenge. So we'll get back to that energy here. Um, Page of Wands, more of your energy here. Definitely new energy coming through. News, surprises, good news. Now we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is definitely new relationships and then the uh, strengthening and the deepening of existing relationships. Even submitted more by the fact that it's underneath the Queen of Pentacles that fosters a more, you know, secure, uh, stable, and permanent relationship. All right, so we have the Star card, Major Arcana, and then we're going to finish off Hopes, Wishes, and Dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. We finish off with the Abundance card, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So let's begin the energies here by starting with the shadow. Seven of Pentacles here is the options, card of options. She's in the flower bed. Many options to pick and choose from uh, if you are that single Sagittarius looking for a new connection, okay? That's simply what the Seven of Pentacles uh, means for me. So put your energy out there, again, with the social uh, card that shows up here for you in your favor. Uh, we also have the major social networking. So definitely, you know, 
make those connections. Whatever your favorite social energies are, you know, use utilize it to the best of your uh, abilities. Um, but this Four of Cups here warrants you to be out and about. Now, you could be out and about with family members, invited out with friends. We are in the holiday season, so anything is possible. So, number one, if you're single, then, you know, you could be at a social place or, you know, invited to a social setting where there's other interested single people that you may meet. Um, but if you're together already in a relationship, this is just you and your partner having a grand time, whether it's with family members or whether it's with friends. Four of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, the Page of Wands here is definitely some sort of new news. Good news coming in and coming in very rapidly for you. Connect that energy with your relationships. And then also, too, with the Page of Wands is a touch of a surprise. The Page of Wands always is the start of passion. We have the intermediate of passion, uh, passion here, the Knight of Wands. So this is the start. So the engagement of things starting to heat up, starting to build up. But it's still at that younger level yet you know that new level so it has time to build up and i feel that when i'm saying this here for you sagittarius is that you have the possibility uh specifically for the singles who meet somebody new okay so that energy starts to you know take a spark or starts to build up um when you meet somebody new and it could be definitely uh in the engagement of being out and about in a social setting whether you are the, uh, you know, fierce, independent Sagittarius that you don't need other people to go out socially. You can just handle your energies by yourself. You're not like a, a wallflower when you go out. You know how to blend in. You know how to make conversations. That may be the Sagittarius that I'm speaking about. But for others, you may be, you know, uh, involved in all the other things that I have mentioned. So the Page of Wands here represents you, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So we have the Ace of Cups. Definitely new unions, existing relationships being strengthened and going deeper in terms of the emotional feeling or aspects for one another. Also to the uh, Ace of Cups, I can't, you know, rule out that there could be pregnancy news or childbirth for somebody uh, coming through in the month of November. The star card, the major arcana, and interesting, the star card is right underneath the higher font. So yeah, you could meet somebody through whatever your favorite social energies are and, you know, build up a friendship, make new connections. Uh, it's all about that social, social energy, okay? There are people out there for you to meet. Just put your energy uh, and at least meet them halfway. Uh, we have the court card here, the Knight of Wands, which is the intermediate, um, you know, attraction card. Following the higher font, then it could be the Sagittarius, again, like I said before, who is getting married in the month of November. Star card is all about manifestation, hopes, um, you know, dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. It represents Aquarius, the other air energies, Gemini and Libra. Uh, I did talk about the Hierophant, that's Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Then the Ten of Pentacles is the card of even number of pentacles, so feeling very abundant here. Now, it's the absence of money, for sure, for some of you, but it may not be. I'm not talking about money here. I'm talking about love and romance. So you may be just going through the month of November feeling like your needs are being met, your desires are being met. It mirrors the four of wands here. That could be, you know, going to actually, you know what? That could be purchasing a new home. I'm sorry. You know, couples could be still purchasing a, a new home and relocating to a different area, still coming out feeling abundant, you know, because things are just being met. All your needs are being met. All your, um, you know, desires are being met. If you're the single Sagittarian, you don't depend on nobody. You're taking care of your own needs and you're fine by that. OK, just feeling healthy, wealthy in mind, body, soul, as well as spirit. And then we have these people here in the background so that there's a possibility, again, of, you know, meeting new connections, building up alliances with new energies. We have to start off as friends, you know, before we enter into anything more serious. Uh, but this card here warrants something, not, you know, that could lead into long term and or permanence for you. All right, so what didn't I cover here? The Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is always about that energy of an ex coming back, okay? But they're coming back to challenge you. They're not adding anything to the table or the plate, uh, Sagittarius. They just want to, you know, create some sort of uh, uh, possibly mind games stronger than the Five of Swords, but, you know, just do some 
do some dumb shit, okay? That's not even worthy of your time. So just be discerning uh, if, you know, there is some sort of contact uh, from some Sagittarians who were once in relationships and you hear from a person that you once dealt with before, just know that they haven't resolved the conflict here, okay? And they're just not going to uh, bring nothing new to the pay, uh, table or the plate for you, like I mentioned before. More challenging news. So, you know, use your better judgment here. All right, so the seven of uh, swords here represents air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles here is the last card that I'm going to talk about because the queen is a court card, just like the uh, page of wands is. And the Knight of Wands. So you have three people here. The roles could be reversed. This could be a female. But this could be somebody that you meet. You know, you know, like I said before, coming from um, beside the Four of Cups here, putting your energies out there socially. Now, this person may come across as uh, having a little pocket change or doing something that is... Um, you know, um, very suitable for the line of work or career that they have chosen. All right. They like to find the finer things in life. Okay. They like to, um, you know, wine, dine, they like good music. They don't have to be a nurse sign. They don't have to be a nurse sign. It could be any sign. Um, but they're willing to share all of that, you know, accumulated wealth or resources with you if necessary. Okay, they just want to spend some time with you. And then again, the Queen of Pentacles fosters that permanency, the long-term type of uh, relationship. All right, so um, the Knight of Wands here, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo is the Knight in Shining Armor. This Knight of Wands, when I do the love uh, relationship, is only an indication of how fast a new connection may take place. Doesn't necessarily mean that they show up quickly and then they exit real quick. No. They just are here in terms of present energy here um, to give you guys an idea that if you are single, then, you know, um, there may be somebody that you connect with right away. And then you have the blessing of the star card. Um, but for couples, it could be just you and your, your, your mate just having a good time, you know, enjoying each other's company. There's some sort of, you know, passion that's going on between you. There's some sort of... Um, intensity building up this still would represent a card of sexual energy and sec sexual expression all right so that's the knight of wands that represents you sagittarius aries and leo all right so i think i covered everything here for you for the month and it looks uh actually pretty good you know don't trip over the seven of swords um but you you guys know if you dealt with exes you know what i'm talking about they ain't gonna bring nothing new to the table or the plate they're just gonna bring more challenges more difficulties for you and you know, you're tired of suffering okay you're tired of dealing with mental suffering and uh you you want a relationship that um you know that you can equate with instead of dealing with foolishness all right so let's see what the lips uh don't lie have to say and add to the overall general energies here for you uh scorpio i mean i'm sorry sagittarius i just did scorpio Duh. all right so the first message here for you is uh protection your person wants to protect this connection from outside interferences. They care for you and want to do everything in their power to maintain love and peace in this connection. Well, that's a beautiful message. I like that. That was uh, protection. This one here says mass. Your person is keeping something from you. They are not revealing their true self to you. This situation is uh, chock full of secrets. Trust your intuition to determine whether what's hidden is negative or positive that will come in uh in alignment with the hierophant where the hierophant offers guidance when you have to pay attention to your uh intuition sagittarius those gut feelings those voices that you hear are your own personal spirit guides trying to alert and grab your attention so that you're making the right choices and decisions for yourself to keep you on this you know the path that you need to be in so i'm going to equate that the mask with the uh, higher font and pain you know making sure that you are paying attention to your um you know, your guidance, your higher calling. All right, so the next one up is prayers. And this one here says, someone has been praying for you. You are the answer to someone's prayers. You are being manifested. Your prayers have been heard. Star card, manifestation. All right, and the last shadow, I'm just going to put, draw three. Uh, spiritual, higher font. They feel a strong spiritual attraction and connection to you. They can feel you have a soulmate type of vibe. 
between you two. This connection is based off a spiritual connection. That's a beautiful message for somebody out there. All right. So let's pull uh, some energies from Soul's Oracle deck here. Let's see what they want to add to your um, reading here. I love these cards. <laughs> I think I'm going to use them more often. Okay, one turn though. Well, no, I'm not going to do that because it was more than one. All right, so from Soul's Oracle Love message, it says childish, immature. Okay, somebody might be childish or immature in the relationship, but also, too, I'll connect that with the Seven of Swords, all right? They haven't resolved any uh, conflict, and they could be coming across as being childish. Might be the reason why there was a um, parting of the ways, because they just weren't mature enough. You got the maturity energy coming from the Queen of Pentacles. All right, let's do a couple more here. And this one here says Love Triangle. So there could be a love triangle going on here for somebody. And then there's uh, spring. All right. So the spring, when the uh, seasons show up here, it just usually represents like autumn showed up for Scorpio. We're in autumn right now. So it could be that there is an aspect of, and I don't want to stress the energies too far, that there could be something going on in terms of new beginnings for some Sagittarius uh, in the spring. If their relationship um, situation is not, you know, getting off to the ground or whatever. And maybe that, you know, you have to go through this period of time for reflection or development or whatever it is. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't really hold out too long on this uh, aspect of the spring because the spring could just mean uh, a number of things. Somebody could be getting married in the spring who's already together. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Shadow energy is the gift, and, you know, we're talking about birthdays here for you, so you're going to receive a gift, simply put. All right, this is what I have for you, uh, Sagittarius, in the month of uh, November regarding love and relationships. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Happy birthday to you. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Please be safe. Uh, keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon.